I really have no space. Um, I, I really don't. I, re I really don't. I guess I'm going to clear this bunch and, and this bunch. And then maybe I'm going to put... Uh, look, see, here's the thing. I've been keeping these stupid things. Uh, these are actually um, like little... These are, these are actually like um, like uh, uh, tissue paper uh, in the pockets of my pants, and they they went through some uh, they went through the washing machine and the drying machine. So now they they, they have this pebble cobblestone uh, shape, when in fact they're only tissue. They're made out of tissue paper and used ones as well. So they're pretty fucking disgusting. But it's hilarious how they turn into stone. I guess I have to throw them away. Um, this is fucking stupid. This is the, um, locker bag thing where I have to put the spare key, but, eh, it's trash. Oh, this water bottle. Uh, there are Thai words on this thing, which reminds me of how determined I am to get Mayor's attention. Um, I, I, I got this, uh, this, uh, um, wet tissue paper. Um, but, um, it's all dry now because the lid is off. So I guess I threw this whole pack away. Um, this glue, I'm not using this glue. This glue is freaking stupid. And then there, and then there are these things, which I don't know why I'm still keeping. This is the 7-Eleven, uh, uh, octopus, uh, money adding thing. This is from, how long ago was it? 20, oh, 2020 June. So that's not that long ago. Only, like... I don't know, three months. And then I have another bill thing right there. I don't know why am I still keeping these things. Oh, look, what is this? Oh, yeah, this is the receipt for my dentist as well as some notes that I should just throw away. All right. Yeah, let's just toss this away. I have like um, four paper bags of wax for when I am um, when I was having braces, and uh, the function of these wax. Okay, I can't take it out. It's stuck. Okay, you can see it. You can see the wax. You can see the wax. But uh, the function of these wax is that um, even though they're they're not very useful because they always fall off, but the function of these wax is that they sort of um they protect you from your gum to your uh, to the metal wire so that you don't you know, scratch your gum with a metal wire unless something comes off. Uh, I don't know if I should keep this wax or not. This looks pretty fun, I guess. Or you know what I should do? I should take out all the wax from all the bags and just concentrate it into one. Same ordeal here. I'm gonna concentrate all three plastic bags of small red rubber bands into one bag, cause why not? So I forgot where did I get this? I think it's IELTS, right? It's IELTS. So I'm covering my uh, ID, identity number, with my finger. But as you can see, that's my name, that's my candidate number, and this is November 23rd, 2019, so this must be the IELTS paper. Alright, I'm throwing this away. This is useless. This is my power bank. Useless. I want to keep these, just to remind myself how hard I whipped that hanger. A couple weeks ago <laughs> I have finally cleared space on my table I can fit one a4 paper here that's amazing I cleared a little bit here but still eh, I'm gonna clear it later uh, most of the stuff went here anyways I threw I threw away some of the stuff I put my stationery in this box so these are the pens these are the things that, that are still usable these are completely unusable they're dead um, and then these I don't know what the fuck are these uh, my watch is broken it needs a needs a new lithium battery. Uh, this pack of candy is from like one and a half. Oh my fucking god! So this this pack of candy is from um how how long ago? I I don't know. Over a year, definitely. It's from Japan. And uh, last time I ate it, it was a few months ago. And after I ate it, I had a very bad stomach ache. So as you can see, all the candies they're not molten. I feel like they they have just. I don't know, decomposed, in a sense. Uh, okay, it's stuck together. That's when you know all the candy have to de have decomposed. It has turned into like 
liquefied and it just it's now like it has this plasticky sort of uh, molten chewing gum sort of texture I'm gonna cut open this thing and throw it away So um, time now is um, 2.27 p.m. on September uh, 15th, I think. Fuck. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know why, but I feel very, very tired this morning. Not really this morning. Like when I wake up, like... I woke up at around 7 and then at around 10, 11, and 12. I woke up four times today. I woke up four times. And after I woke up, I went to check my phone and there were no news. There there were literally no news. I'm I'm shocked. Like like I'm I'm really really shocked. The the other dude who helped me with my short film in 2018 hadn't replied, Austin hadn't replied, no one had replied. It appears that everyone's super duper busy. And uh, it's also been raining and storming really, really bad. There has been thunder and lightning all day long. There has been a lot of thunder and lightning all day long and um, it's, it feels very depressing and gloomy. Uh, I really don't know what's everyone up to right now. I, 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 really, I really don't. I really don't. I feel like I feel like this is where I get stuck on making my short film. I, I feel like this is where I get stuck. Because now I'm trying to rely on others so hard. Because no way I can do this myself. But no one wants to help me. I'm helpless. And this is where I get stuck. Because I have no connections. Because no one's willing to help me. I don't know, man. I, 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 I really don't know. Um, I'm going to try to ask those people again. This is all I need to do. All I need to do is to reach out. Connections, connections, connections. All I need to do is to figure out... Who is going to be in my crew so that I know how will this thing continue on? How will this thing develop? All I need to do is that. And then I can start crowdfunding. Um, that's all, I guess. Um, I'm going to do some assignment today. I... Yeah, you know, I, I said I would wake up earlier because I want to finish that homework, but I already finished it yesterday, actually. And, um, yeah, I finished it, um, yesterday. And there's another homework where I have to set up a website, but for some reason my domain is still pending. So I can't do anything about it. It's been pending for two days. Um, so I can't do anything about it, unfortunately. Uh, so, I guess I can work on my essay, I guess. That's possible. That's entirely possible. And, uh, nothing else. There's nothing else I can do today. Another food-related clip here, but I just have to highlight this because this is important. It's about to be mid-autumn festival, right? So, oh, crap. Oh, my God. Everything's falling apart. Shit. Mooncake. This is a chunk of mooncake, as you can see right here. That's the crust, which is very thin, very thin crust. And the uh, thing in the middle is a lotus paste, which is this very sweet uh, paste uh, made from uh, lotus, lotus seeds, which is very nice. It's like honey. It's like honey, but but with a, with a beanie flavor, I guess.
I like this. This is my favorite kind of mooncake. The traditional kind, an ice cream mooncake. Favorite. The um the meat kind sucks. That's gross. So I'm gonna show you guys something. So this is the website that I've been using for a very, very long time. And um, I do like best album covers of 2010s right here, you know. Um, and it's not showing all of them because my computer sucks. And the best album covers of 2016. So good. 17, 18. Oh, and it's showing now. <laughs> Great. And it's not showing here. Wow. Best album and it's all and it's only showing these for some reason. And favorite albums of all times and it's all only showing these. Why? What what are you doing? Best songs of 2019. Oh, it's showing up oh, not all. There's one missing. All right. Uh best songs of 2010s. Oh, it's showing most of them. Surprisingly. Not this, not this, not this. Alright, so I'm gonna move move this move some of these lists to my laptop right now. Oakley Dokley. So um time now is 9 49 p.m. Um not much had happened. I um I asked Austin on Instagram again saying Okay, are you sure that no one else can help me? And then he said that the stranger dude, the dude that Sandra recommended me to talk to, he's busy. Okay, but he's still fine. Austin himself is still fine, which is great news. So I sent him my scripts and he said he's going to read it later. And then he asked me... Okay, he asked a very strange question. Because most of the characters in my story are going to be... 12 year olds 13 year olds 14 year olds uh, because it's about uh, uh, secondary school it's about early secondary school so he asked what age looking actor are you looking for and I, I thought how, I thought he asked me how many actors I need how many child actors I need or, or teenager actors I need and I said 25 and then he's like 25 that's mm, that's not very that doesn't look very young and I, I said oh oh that's why I, I need like like to hire 12 year old 13 year olds 14 year olds to help me and he's like oh 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 da 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 like it's a misunderstanding but that's all other than that, nothing happened today. Natalie made a couple of Instagram stories about doing maths. In fact, a lot of people, a lot of people made Instagram stories about going to college, um, actually going to university online. No one in Asia goes to college. College doesn't exist in Asia. I mean, it kind of does now, but, you know, no one goes to college in Asia. Everyone goes to university. So everyone's like, taking photo of, uh, of their laptop and stuff, you know, um, yeah, yeah, that's all, um, that's all, I'm gonna play some Minecraft, actually, why not, why not, what's the harm, let's play some Minecraft, let's play some Minecraft, I don't know what am I doing anymore. I'm just, I'm so done with life. Uh, I'm glad that, um, not really glad, but it's, it's okay. It's cool that Austin is still on the project. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this whole short film thing, it's still very, you know, very gloomy. Um, and, uh, nothing else, nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. I'm gonna have to do some college homework tomorrow. Um, but I don't want to do any homework today because I'm just not in the mood to new mood that mood for it, you know. You know, back in forms four, five, and six, like immediately after a teacher hands out a homework, we immediately do it. And usually, I'm lazy and I'm like, okay, well, I just have to do it before the deadline. But because so many people around me are doing it in high speed, I'm like, well, fuck, I have to do it now because peer pressure.
So I'm peer pressured to be hardworking. Um, so that is how, that is why it, school was so frustrating because everyone's always in a competition to, to finish the homework. And, and usually we rush, like after we finish uh, a seven page biology assignment, you know, full of long questions and essays, we would rush down to the teacher's office and hand it in, put it in like a box outside of the door, of the uh, teacher's office door, uh, the staff room. And when we hand in and we look at the box, or more like the, 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 the tray, and we already see other people had handed in, we're like, fuck man, we're, I'm not the fastest, well I'm a loser. So we always try to do all the homework as fast as possible. Not because we, we're gonna have any reward for this. I mean, if we do it super fast, we're gonna get bonus marks, but usually the case would be that we won't get any rewards, but we're doing it just so that we could feel accomplished. That's the only reason. And that, my friend, is the Asian spirit, okay? Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's all I'm trying to say. There's nothing else to this world. I'm back to my lazy shit from my college again. I'm just not... It has been so long. It, it's been almost 130 days since I've actually, you know, tried hard, you know? So... Uh, I'm just really not in the mood for studying at all. I'm just... Procrastinating. Um, yeah, nothing else, really, really, really. There really isn't anything else that I can talk about. Uh, short film, still working on it. College, still getting the hang of it. Um, uh, I guess, I think I grew a slightly taller and slightly wider, which is cool. But I still gotta keep going, so there's that. And, uh, I, I want to watch Tenet with Leo and Pink. And this time, I'm going to pay for them, okay? <laughs> like, they have been too nice to me. I need to, you know, pay for them. Like, please. And uh, maybe someday in the future I can return to freaking Hong Kong University. Even though it last week might already be the last time I will ever go to Hong Kong University. To visit Natalie Grant and Zara. Because... The world is unpredictable, okay? But hopefully there's another time. If there's another time, I would certainly be there on time. Hopefully it's not a Thursday. Because if it's a Thursday, then I have a film class to take in, in the morning. Um, but yeah, there's that. Um, time now is 11.41 a.m. in the morning. Uh, as you can see, I, I just woke up. I slept for around 7 hours, which is honestly... Not that bad, you know, if I if I were in my school days, you know, like back in Form 6, if I sleep for 7 hours, I would be extremely happy. Because normally I would only sleep from around 5 to 6 hours per day. But for some reason, because for the past like 100 days or so, I, for almost every single day, I sleep for 9 to 10 hours. So the fact that I just slept for seven hours made me feel a little tired but only a little because tomorrow is even going to be harsher i need to sleep earlier tonight because tomorrow i have to wake up at around eight for my film eight class so anyways that being said let's do a quick rundown of what i'm going to do today i haven't announced what day is it it's september 16th um so uh september 16th means nick is going to UK. Anyways, what I'm going to do today is first of all, I'm going to uh, work harder on my short film. I'm going to I'm going to I really need to start crowdfunding. I need to know who's going to be in my crew, who's not going to be in my crew. I sent Austin my scripts yesterday. Hopefully he reads it. Um second of all, I will do the college assignment, only one of them. The other one I can't do it. I just can't do it. The website, I just I just can't do it. But the essay, the first draft, I think I can do it. I think I think it's 
been pretty clear. I think the the, the teacher, the professor, had uh, gave us some uh, instructions that are clear enough. You know, for some reason, especially for media class where the professor doesn't say anything, and we have no idea what our assignments are supposed to be. Like, come on, just give us some instructions. Give us something clear to to follow. Um, that's the two things that I have to worry about today. Third, I need to do the TV and anime review, which is pretty exciting. And then afterwards, I am uh, I'm free. Uh, free as a bird. Um, I'm thinking I should start. Not start, but yeah, I should edit some New Zealand vlog. I should do that. I I've been doing that, but. I stopped for a while because I ran out of interest and motivation. Uh, I had a pretty weird dream, which is separated into three parts. Buying books for my college, somehow becoming a celebrity and hosting the Emmys, and not knowing when and where will the after party take place, and then hanging out with Oliver in a very strange way. Um... I felt sleepy in the dream, and I also feel sleepy now, so at least there's that. I don't know how, how should I eliminate this problem, but once again, this morning at 7am I woke up. I woke up again. And then at 10, I woke up again. It just has to happen every single day. 7, 10, 11, 12. 7, 10, 11, 12. I have to wake up four times. It's been like that for the past three days. I don't know how am I going to eliminate that. I'll take some sleeping pills tonight. Hopefully they work. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's all. That's all for today. No news on my schoolmate side. No news. And maybe that's for the better. I mean, everyone's really busy nowadays. But uh, yeah, no news on my schoolmate side. Um, hopefully everybody else is doing well. Not hopefully, it's already a fact. It's already a fact that everybody else is doing well. If Natalie has gone insane for some reason, it would be, I don't know, it would be very strange. Like, he's already not at school. He's in a university now. Like, how and where will she go insane? What will she do? I feel like the last straw the last time she had gone insane the ultimate final moment of insanity is is you know december 2019 that time when she grabbed grant's uh knife or scissors and ran towards the bathroom and i told uh, zara to follow her and zara had no idea what's going on and then afterwards the whole school, like all the teachers went to my classroom, like, oh, is Natalie fine? Is Natalie okay? What did she say? I'm like, okay, do you want me to call her parents, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, I care about Natalie, but not that much. Like, you're spoiling Natalie. You're spoiling her by giving her so much care and so much attention. You're almost spoiling her and fueling her to, to go insane even more. It's fucking stupid. So at the end, I got really upset. And I realized how many people among us also suffer from, you know, suicidal thoughts. And um, how many of us are equally, you know, possible that we can commit suicide. Just like Natalie. But none of us have this much attention or care from the teachers and the classmates. You know, like Pink. I mean, Pink has a lot of care as well. But not as much as Natalie does. I mean, Pink got an amnesia, for God's sake. Natalie didn't. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to belittle Natalie's troubles or anything. But, but I feel like Pink's situation was even worse than Natalie's. And then there are so many other people who, who, who struggle with with sadness, I, I don't even want to use the word depression, I don't want to throw that word around, but, but just struggling with, with very, just roller coastery emotions, like, like Queenie, like um, Oliver himself, I believe so, I believe he's struggling too, like Caroline, 
like um I mean Tyrus has to be experiencing something right um yeah well, none of them are getting anything so okay I guess okay so at the end of that day I just cried I'm like well, fuck the society not really like like I was really upset with the fact that Natalie is the only person getting all the attention it should be all of us okay it shouldn't be one girl it should be all of us all of us should get the attention evenly spread if you focus all the attention to Natalie Natalie will feel super special and you're just fueling her to make her go insane even harder next time like again I like Natalie she's a great friend but this is some bullshit system man you know it's 6 5 p.m. Um, uh, um, time flies. Time flew, really. Um, I still feel kind of tired now. I kept on yawning every few seconds. Uh, that's what happens when I'm slightly tired. I, I, just, I just need to be slightly tired. Then I will just non-stop yawning. Um, nothing happened. I realized that I've been very, very unproductive, so I'm gonna do some college homework now. I just finished editing my Konosuba review, and uh, I, I seriously have no idea how, how do I follow up with my short film. I seriously have no idea. I know that I need to start crowdfunding, but I'm not even sure who's gonna be in my crew, who's gonna be in my team, and if I don't know that, then I don't know the budget. If I don't know the budget, I don't know, I don't know what's the goal for the crowdfunding. Um, I estimate it's going to be one hundred and twenty thousand Hong Kong dollars. But here's the thing: even if I get this much money, and no one decides to help me, then it's pointless. Then I just got all this money for nothing. So at least I need to know who's going to be on my team first, okay? At least I need to know that. Um, so now I know that Zara, Miriam, and Austin want to help me. One from A class, one from B class, one from D class. So they can probably already figure out who some of the characters in my story are based on. Um, thank God nobody from C class is helping me. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do homework. That's it. All right, I was gonna do this in my room, but I figured I should add some diversity into my video, add some versatility. So I'm gonna do this in a room that, I mean, I, I do these uh, clips in this room as well, but not as much lately. Um, so anyways, it's 11.36 uh, p.m. right now, drinking some colorless soda, very healthy. It actually tastes really, really sweet. <laughs> um, anyways, um, nothing on the short film department, nothing in the school department, unless you're talking about I mean, he hadn't been in school for a very long time, but I used to have a, well, he's still very friendly to me, you know, this guy, uh, who used to be Ar Arthur's friend, if you have watched my recap videos, and he's studying in a college in San Francisco right now, I'm not specifying which, um, and I'm struggling with my English homework, and I made an Instagram story, like, what, why the fuck is English so hard, and I got five double star in english in dse that's the best score you can ever get i'm in the top one percent of all the dse participants when it comes to english <laughs> and and the english class i'm taking right now in college it's really fucking difficult i'm in the top one percent in hong kong and this is still really difficult for me i don't i don't know what's going on man i really don't know what's going on you know what the heck is an mla format what the heck? I've never heard of an MLA format before. What the heck is an MLA format? What's, what are annotations? Why do I have to cite works? Apparently, if I need to state a source in my argumentative essay, 
I need to state which publisher published the source, which author it is, the author's background, which university did the author graduate from, with what degree, I mean his phone number, their addresses, I can just DDoS attack them at this point. Like, come on, come on, this is so excessive. Um, it's pretty crazy. I still don't know what is an MLA format. And, um, yeah, it's just weird, it's just weird. Um, I never had to worry about these things when I study in secondary school, so I don't know, man, I, re I really don't. Um, yeah, aside from that, nothing else, really. Um, I realized that uh, I really want to watch Tenet. I'm going to ask Leo, maybe, like, hey, you want to watch Tenet? I asked him to, if he can watch it on Thursday, on the day it premieres in Hong Kong, and he's like, bro, I'm busy. Um, um, so, um... Yeah, I don't know. I'll ask him again, I guess. There's always hope. Um, lately, I've been thinking. Because I finished 13 Reasons Why, season 4. And I'm like, mm, what if what if my short film became 13 Reasons Why? Like, became... Because my short film is a... Well, not really short film, my series is actually about life in secondary school. It's about uh, lies and secrets and moral ambiguity. It's about um, mental illness as well. Um, and I'm like, that's exactly what 13 Reasons Why is about. So how am I going to be like a hundred times better than 13 Reasons Why? Uh, I, I really don't know, but I just don't want my story to become like 13 Reasons Why. And given how over the top and dramatic my story can be, I'm really, really afraid. Um, I mean, the plot has nothing to do with suicide or, or murder or rape. Um, but it's still very crazy. You know, it has... It's crazy in a, in a different way, in a, in a superstitious, paranoid way. Uh, the main character starts off superstitious. The beginning of, of his arc is going from someone superstitious to someone realistic. That is, that is the arc. It's a very strange arc. Um, and it's cool. Uh, and the, the characters, they're supposed to be very layered and very deep and very three-dimensional. Um, and I realized one thing, and that is, according to the writers of 13 Reasons Why, it's the incidents that define the people, which shouldn't be the case. The fact is, it should be the personality that defines the people. The question is not what, the question is how. So if someone commits suicide, it's not what caused the suicide, it's how it's caused. Because at the end of the day, something really, really small can make someone kill themselves. But something really huge won't kill someone. Because the question is how, not what. Or at least that's my theory. So uh, anyways, I'm just going to watch a couple episodes of La Casa de Papel. And then I'm going to go to bed. It's 2.51 a.m. in the morning right now. I have to uh, go to bed immediately, wake up tomorrow at 8 a.m., roughly five hours later. So I'm going to have five hours of sleep. Really cool. So I'm going to take the sleeping pills, like right now. There's a little incident that happened where I realized that tomorrow for film class we have to watch a movie, except that movie isn't available on YouTube. So the only way that we film students in a in an American college okay to watch the movie is to watch it on Amazon Prime we need to rent it now I don't have an Amazon account so I made it immediately um, and I know nothing about my bank 
account because I'm a loser and a child. So I, like a child, ask my mom for assistance. And um, I wrote down my address and all that stuff. And, and the website says, well, psych. You can't watch this. Not, not really you can't watch this, but psych. Your address is wrong because it doesn't exist in USA. You didn't even state your state. And this is this, a similar problem I encountered yesterday when I tried to um, buy Microsoft Office, which succeeded because instead of going to Microsoft Office dot, Microsoft.com, I went specifically to Microsoft.com.hk. So anyways, I tried Amazon.com.hk. It doesn't exist. There's a Chinese version and the Chinese version is absolute shit. And at last, I found an Amazon Prime video website specific to Hong Kong. I went into it and I searched the movie title. It's not there. So I'm like, well, fuck. Because I'm not American, I can't watch certain movies and access certain information now. Because I'm simply not American. Well, the internet is like the ocean. It's very vast. And... Um, I mean, there are some extreme cases where I have a problem and the internet can't solve it. But, um, I found a solution. And the solution lies in the comma. The movie title is Murder My Sweet. And there is actually a comma after murder. And after I noticed the comma, problem solved. Easy peasy. Let's go. So, um, yeah, there is nothing to worry about again. Now, if, if you want to question me on how that I solve the problem, I will not answer it. Because if I do, huh, I will not kill you, but someone will. Thanks for watching. Time now is 8.49 uh, a.m. on uh, September 17th. It has been one week. It's a Thursday. It's been one week since... Uh, since September 10th, one of the best days ever. Um, I slept for four hours only, like a total champ. I took my sleeping pills yesterday, um, but didn't fall asleep until four something. And then I woke up at eight, of course, I did. Uh, actually, I woke up at around seven something. And then I slept back a little bit and then woke up again at 8. Uh, I had breakfast. It's a very underwhelming breakfast. That's why I'm done with it so quick. So I didn't really eat much. Um, and I'm going to have class in about 10 minutes. And the class is about 4 hours long. So that's okay. Um, anyways... Um, Whoa, what the fuck? It's just glitching. It's glitching. I'm so scared, man. Don't do this to me. Uh, anyways, what am I going to do today is that, um... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to, um, take my class. I have to find a way to get a crew, okay? Just get a crew. Get a production crew. Get a... I mean, Austin can be a really chill camera guy but one camera guy is not enough camera guys we need two okay we need two because it's it saves time so um i need to get a crew um and uh so that's on my short film and then aside from that i'll make a an album review six nine and then afterwards oh fuck me <laughs> And then, uh, that's all for today. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just really tired. I want to watch Tenet with Leo in pink. Let's do that. Yeah. There are many, there are suddenly so many movies to watch. I'm thinking of Ending Things by Charlie Kaufman, The Devil All the Time. Uh, Dune trailer just got out. Crazy shit, man. 
Um, what's that other movie? Uh, the New Moon, which is like a bad movie, but I, I'm still curious how bad it is, you know? So I'm gonna watch it real soon. Um, man. Uh, I don't know. That's all. That's all. That's all. There really isn't anything to talk about. I miss Mary. I still do. I've I've been thinking about her a lot less lately though. But I'm not I'm not falling out of love. I'm just busy. And I know that now is not the time to talk about Mary. I'm still one month and one week away from from Mary's birthday. So I, I'm still I, I'm s I still gotta wait. I still gotta wait. Wait like a champ. Oh. I think it's Tom's birthday tomorrow. I gotta check, but I think it is, right? According to my memory, his birthday is September 18th. All right, time now is 1.08 p.m. Uh, I've just finished class, watched one hour and 35 minutes of a noir film called Murder My Sweet. Um, liked it a little more than the, the one I saw last week. I'm gonna talk about these films uh, once in every three weeks, by the way, so... um. Anyways, we had a one hour long discussion and then after that, um, I was like, hmm, oh, actually, I, I haven't watched Tenet yet and I know that a lot of people had already watched Tenet. And I, <laughs> I mean, come on, like half the entire world are huge Nolan fanboys, okay, and fangirls. So I'm like, okay, gotta watch Tenet. I know that Tenet is not going to be as good as, you know, like a Memento or Prestige. But still, you know, got, gotta watch it, you know. So, um, yeah. I asked Leo, oh, when do you want to watch Tenet? And Leo's like, okay, let me check my schedule. And Leo's like, how about tonight? And I'm like, uh, well, okay, it's only 1 p.m. now. And so I went to the uh, movies app and check uh, if any of the cinemas are still, you know, um, if if... There are open seats in cinemas, and I found that there are some seats that are open in a place nearby. And Leo's like, oh, sure. And then he's asking Pink now. So I may actually go out tonight and watch Tenet with Leo and Pink. I, I need to pay for them. They have they've been too kind and generous towards me. Why are they doing this? I don't know. I, I need to pay them. Um, anyways, um, that would be exciting, but that just consolidates my theory that people are only free, people who study in Hong Kong University are only free on Thursdays. <laughs> like, I, I don't understand why, but same goes for Natalie, they're, they're, they're only free on Thursdays. End of story. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's been like, how many days has it been since I've spoken to Natalie? Like nine days? It's been a while, you know? Eight, I think. Seven. Duh. Duh. Seven. Because last time I spoke to her, it's it's that day, you know? This, the September special. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have lunch now. Afterwards, I'm going to do some peer evaluation. Again, it's... I, I didn't study secondary education in America. There are so many American things that I don't know about. Apparently, whenever you write essays, you need to state the name and the name and the title of the text in quotation marks in the beginning of each paragraph. What are these rules? I've never heard of these rules before. Uh, and I have to, um, who was it? So we are doing peer evaluation. And uh, it comes in pairs. It's not random. I don't know if it's random or not. It, it's it's random, but it it comes in pairs. So I will evaluate this person, and this person will evaluate me. And usually in my school, it's it's like a circle. One person evaluate the other. The the other person evaluate another person, and it's like a huge circle. But we're sort of in pairs. Uh, for this peer evaluation thing, for the first draft of my first essay, and um, what the fuck? 
my writing assignment one is being graded i didn't even hand in probably a zero mark probably zero marks then anyways right all right got to do that real quick later and then film a six nine review and then i'm gonna bounce um yeah let's see what happens today every thursday will be very interesting i <laughs> All right, so time now is 8.07. I'm chewing a gum. 8.07 p.m. And as you can see, I'm in my pure black outfit. I'm beginning to match my... Oh, I actually shouldn't wear this. I should wear the other one, right? Because I've been wearing this a lot. I don't know where did the other one go, but I'll change later. But uh, I'm about to go to um, somewhere nearby. And meet up with um, Leo and Pink. Like right now. And it's actually kind of crazy. If you think about it. Because this is the first time actually. If you think about it. This is actually the first time. I've ever. Been the organizer of an event. Like. Like. In gangs. They're usually the organizer. Like in, in being gang. There's Tom. Tom is the organizer. Hans is the one who has the idea and who controls everything, but Tom is the organizer. So Tom would suddenly say, Oh, yo, guys, want to meet up and sing karaoke together? And everyone's going to be like, Oh, yeah, sure. So everyone's in, in the gang is just going to meet up in one place and sing karaoke and have a great time. All my life, I have never had the power to be the organizer. I have never, I, I only follow people like a sheep. And in most cases, I don't even get to follow them. I'm that powerless. But now that my social power has risen quite a bit, <laughs> and the fact that people are beginning to find out that I'm actually a chill dude, I decided, yo, let's organize something. It's nothing big. I, Leo, and Pink, we're just going to watch Tenet, the movie. Um, but, um, yeah. There's that. So uh, it's pretty crazy. Uh, <laughs> um, and it's Leo and Pink. They're really, really nice people. You know? And uh, I feel like they, they deserve um, a happy night movie watching. Yeah. It's kind of funny because um, um, I was checking the seats available for this time slot. Um and um i was like wow let's get these three seats and then i checked it i refreshed the page and these three these, these three seats are already taken so it's very popular film i need to go now like right now oh my Thank God it's not raining right now. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be soaking wet. All right, so time now is 1.03 a.m. in the morning. I have taken a shower, came back home, and uh, I watched a movie with Leo and Pink. Watched Tenet by Nolan. And it's pretty good. Um, I went into this movie thinking that it's going to be okay. You know, just okay, you know. Uh, so it's actually better than I expected because I under um, underestimated it. Um, so it came out better than I thought, actually. Um, but uh, yeah, a uh, very swift, very swift appointment with Leo and Pink. I almost, I was almost late when I saw Pink and Leo because the movie starts at around eight thirty, and when I saw them, it was already like eight twenty eight. And I immediately scanned the QR code and got the tickets and we immediately went in. And uh, yeah, and then we just sat there and... And uh, originally, because there are three seats and because social distancing, usually for every two seats, one seat is going to be blocked. So I'm like, okay, Leo and Pink, they're a couple. They're a couple. So I'm going to sit in the individual seat and then beside me, it's going to be them together. And then Pink's like, hey, you know what? You can sit with Leo. I'm just going to sit by myself. And I'm like, really? And she's like, yeah, uh, you're going to go to USA, right? Well, spend some time together. 
so that's really kind and so um, we just watched the movie uh, we didn't talk during the movie because why would we uh, and then at the end uh, we left and we're like super confused and then me and Leo you know the big brains Leo's brain is super duper big <laughs> so Leo already got like Leo still somewhat confused but he already got most of the movie figured out and and I also got I guess I think I understand 75 or 80 percent of the movie and Pink's like I don't understand the whole thing uh, and uh, we were just discussing it and it was it was pretty fun and then afterwards uh, we just left and that's it and then uh, when I walked out of the MTR station it was raining it was not raining really heavily but it was raining quite a bit and storming as well I pull out my umbrella and I immediately had flashbacks um, because last month in the middle of a rainstorm the rain got to my phone and my phone freaked out which caused a very terrible incident uh, so um, well I uh, yeah I just I, I had the flashbacks and I immediately instead of taking out the phone and film things like an idiot I put my phone in my backpack with my wallet and I carried my backpack in the front so now it's a front pack I'm like Mary because Mary does this all the time Mary always wears her backpack at, in, at the front and then I I had my umbrella on I always bring an umbrella I'm always prepared and I, w I was using the umbrella like a shield against the wind because if the wind blows to any direction and the umbrella is not pointing against it then the umbrella is just gonna be broken because the wind is really strong so I need to go against the wind to make sure my umbrella doesn't break um, so there's that so uh, that's all yeah so it's 1 a.m. now uh, I got partnered in my uh, peer essay of essay peer evaluation from an English class with an El Salvadorian girl I don't know if that's the word to describe people from El Salvador and she hasn't sent me the essay yet where are you send me now I have to go to bed in like one and a half hours okay please send me now please um, yeah that's all I also need to do this this self introduction video thing for my media class which is really annoying um, the website thing is still not working which is really annoying as well and I had to email my professor saying ah the website's not, it's not working um, but I'm still getting the hang of it I'm still getting the hang of it also I watched two movies today back to back which is something that I've not done in a very very long time uh, there was a time in the past where I watch uh, where I try to watch as much as possible in one day without wasting time but I, I don't really watch those movies like I skip around I look at the plot and then I skip around which is something that I, that I usually hate to do I like to watch a movie like chronologically from front to back from beginning to end without any interruptions um, but back then I was really in a hurry um, yeah that's all that's all um, still no news from the from the, uh, the the dude who helped me make my short film in 2018 um, still no news which is a bit concerning um, yeah yesterday there are nine new cases I, I said that already did I yeah I originally want to watch Jojo part 5 today but given that I already watched two movies I'm gonna leave that to, to tomorrow which is actually my original plan um, so uh, yeah yay Ooh. Ah. Ah. all right time now is 2 15 p.m. on September 18th um, so um yeah um 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So I fell asleep at around 3.30, which is not really that early in my opinion. Uh, but definitely earlier than a couple days ago when I fell asleep at 4. Uh, and I tried to wake up tried to wake up earlier today. Oh, also, it's Tom's birthday today. So I said happy birthday to Tom. Shout out to Tom. Cool dude. Um, oh, lol, he's, he, he's, he's apologizing for not saying happy birthday to me 11 days ago. Well, that's alright. Uh, anyways, um, what am I going to do today is nothing. I don't want to do any college homework today. I just want to take a rest. Oh, shit, right. There's this peer thing that I'm supposed to do yesterday, but I can't do it because nobody sent me anything. So I got to do it now. So fine, whatever. I'll do some college homework today. And I also have to prepare for that media class project where we have to do this self-introduction video. In the meantime, I still need to find a crew for my short film. Um, so I'm going to work on that. And I'm going to make a couple reviews as well. A uh, movie and an album review. And then I am golden, I guess. Yeah. Time now is 9.35 p.m. Um, yeah. It's days like this. It's days like this where I nearly have nothing to do. Once again, I've done nothing for the past nine hours. <laughs> Other than making the two reviews, just consecutively. I finish editing one, and then I immediately... In, uh, immediately after I uploaded it, I made another review, just one after another. I'm gonna do some college homework later. Um, the girl still hadn't sent me anything yet. I'm talking about the classmate. It's... I need... She needs to send me the stuff if I want to hand in the homework. I've already passed the deadline. What what are you doing? Um, nothing else. I sent the new scripts to Miriam and Zara, and Miriam's like, Oh, so you're staying in Hong Kong? Until, like, you're in Hong Kong now? And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna leave at around January, I think. And then she's like, okay, but that... Still, filming the, the thing before January, that's like... I don't know, I feel like, I feel like there isn't enough time like that's impossible and i'm like yeah in fact i'm planning to film it on uh in november and so she's like okay 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 um that's all mary made another instagram story it's just it's always been a it's it's always very 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 rare that mary makes an instagram story mary makes one and it's just a photo of some sushi that's all. Like every time, every time she shows up on Instagram, well, I, I, I believe that she shows up in her private account all the time, but she seldom, you know, uses, or more like, she seldom posts anything on her main public account, which is the only account that I'm following. Um, and, uh, every time she does, she, it's, it's a photo of some coffee or some, some, some food. Uh, last time it was, like, her having a drink with her friend. I mean, she's 19. She's about to be 19. Um, so, yeah, it's legal. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that she's been drinking already way before 18, given how rebellious she is. Uh, but a lot of people also drink. It really doesn't matter, actually. Like, Pink drinks a lot as well. Jordana drinks, Tyrus drinks, a lot of the boys drink. Just a lot of girls drink as well. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't know, man. I'm currently very, very bored. And... Uh, uh, there really isn't much to do. The only thing I have in mind is short film, okay? If I get the short film done, I'm free. Okay, I'm free from all the chains. Not really all the chains, but still, I, I would be very free. So I need to do that. I need to work hard on my short film, except I can't because it's difficult, people. So, um, yeah. Uh, 
anyways, uh, I'm gonna watch JoJo tonight. So that's yeah. I'm excited for that. I mean, I'm really excited for that. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, that's all. All right. So time now is twelve fifty nine a.m. in the morning on September nineteenth. Um, so. So, um, so the guy who helped me with my short film in 2018 is being approached and, um, he says he's busy because he has a job now. Um, so, uh, fuck, I just, I just can't find a crew. I just can't find a crew. For my own short film. I just can't find a crew. And that's. Um, that's. Very troubling. So instead. What I can only do now. Is I immediately start crowdfunding. I, I, I don't even know what's the budget. I, I'm not even sure. What's going to be the budget. My guess. Is that it's going to be around. 150,000. 150,000 Hong Kong dollars. That's my guess. Um, or I think, you know what? Actually, it could be less. It could be less. I could cut some corners, hire some really unprofessional people, and just roll with it. Cut some corners, you know? And use some cheap cameras, maybe. So maybe I can cut it down to uh, 120,000. But still, that's a lot. So what am I going to do now with crowdfunding is that I'm going to make uh, a crowdfunding page tomorrow and the goal will be 100, uh, the, the goal will be 80,000 Hong Kong dollars, 80,000 Hong Kong dollars. That's going to be my goal. And I'm going to find a way to make my, to sell my movie to, I'm also going to put up the trailer, not really the trailer, but the trailer trailer for my movie the trailer for my idea instead of the real thing like i actually filmed a bunch of footage it's not a part of the script it's just a bunch of random footage but i'm gonna use that i'm gonna put that on the thing and then i'm going to um yeah i'm just i'm just going to um put up my crowdfunding page i guess and uh, make it a thing and i hope that it's going to reach up to eighty thousand hong kong dollars and if this goal is being reached then i'm going to do another round of crowdfunding but this time forty thousand so overall one hundred and twenty thousand and um and of course 120,000 it's very minimum it's very minimal for my short film so i have to give my own as well maybe uh 30,000 that's a lot that's already a fucking lot cuz my bank account only has 80,000 hong kong right now 80,000 that's my bank account apparently um I'm just not sure how am I going to convince people to pay me because unless I link them to my previous short film, then they're going to be like, okay, the previous short film is pretty good. So I guess I'm going to invest on this dude. But um, it's weird asking for people, asking for my classmates and my family and pretty much everyone I know to give me money. Uh, that's just like, it's oh it i i must return i i must truly make my my movie amazing i must pour out all my heart for this movie because every single donator is going to count okay every single donator has given money and it's going to count and i don't want to put them to waste so um i i really need to make this movie like really well but while at the same time trying to keep it not too expensive incredibly challenging shit right there 
and uh, I seriously have no idea how am I gonna deal with that um, but um, yeah that's all um, anyways nothing else happened today um, nothing else happened today nothing nothing at all nothing I played the flute for a while today had a lot of fun I love playing the flute now I don't like playing music that I dislike but if you're asking me to play the instrument itself it's actually a lot of fun and I also spent some time looking at old rap songs I wrote in the past which are pretty cringy pretty bad but some of the bars are actually really clever uh, but only some of them okay so um, yeah that's all for today all right, so time now is 1.52 p.m. on, um, holy shit, on September, September 19th. Um, yeah, shoot. Uh, so in about half an hour, I'm gonna leave this apartment not going anywhere important just going to um, My mom's friend's place again just sit on the couch with a laptop for a few hours You know um, I also have college homework that I need to do today So I'm gonna do there and also originally I have uh, an album review to do uh, today, but I can't. Um, and I guess um, it's raining really, really bad right now. So yesterday there are three new cases, which is great. But today there are 14. So that's fucked. Um, but I guess that's because yesterday it was so low. So today it had to be a lot again. To balance it so 14 plus 3 is 17 17 over 2 is um, 8.5 and uh, so we have average 8.5 new cases per day um, still a lot but you know we're, we're going down we're going down definitely um, yeah, that's all I'm, I'm gonna do. So, as far as my dream goes, um, I don't know. I, I had multiple dreams, but they all feel connected. They all feel like they're from the same dream, so I consider them one dream, just segmented. And the dream is, is so weird. It's like I'm at school, but the school, the structure of the school is different. It's like I'm in a hotel or some sort of facility of sorts. Um... Um, I saw Mary, but she didn't see me, but I saw her. Very real, and uh, I just really, really miss her. I, I really, really do. And I also saw some people from Potato Gang, notably Kingsley, um, Andy, Ronald, and we were eating food, cupcakes, for some reason. But the cupcakes, for some reason, they're like bagels. Like, they have holes, huge circular holes in the middle. Uh, anyways, it's it's still raining really really bad. I'm gonna show you what outside looks right now Yeah, that is that is a lot of rain that is a lot of rain Yeah <laughs> It's been raining for like three weeks though, so uh, I don't know I guess this is if I were a Brit this would be normal <laughs> Okay, I'm in my outfit again. Uh, I'm in my outfit. I'm in my street outfit. I am gonna go out to the world. Boom, 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 boom. Um, yeah, that's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say here. Um, I. It appears that I can't start crowdfunding today, but I'll start. I'll try to, like see how should I market my script market my story first sell my script sell my story um, and then tomorrow I'll start because I'll be spending a bulk of today in my mom's friend's house not doing anything um, so I'm gonna do one homework there maybe a couple actually because I have a lot of homework to hand in on uh, the 21st actually um, 
and um, so I'm gonna do a couple's college homework. I'm gonna think about my marketing strategy for my movie, um, and um, listen to a bunch of music and go on with my life living. Yeah. Um, on how should I sell my movie? Um, I need to make it relevant, right? In order to make it relevant. Now, what are the most relevant things? Now, I can't make it a political thing, which is a huge obstacle. Not really obstacle, but a, something unfortunate. Because if I can make my story political, a lot of people who share the same political agenda will be like, yes, give money. So that that's a really good strategy. Unfortunately, I can't do that because my project is said to be non-political. But I guess if I have to make it political somehow, even though the plot is not political at all, I should mention that the story is about teenagers. That alone is already like, oh, you know. And I also can't make it too edgy because I feel like there are people who expect this movie to not be that edgy. But at the same time, I need a little edginess in it because... Because then people would be interested in trying to see something edgy. And, um... Yeah. You know what? It, it, it shouldn't... Because my story is a school story, but it shouldn't be limited to school only. It should expand. It's like a, a reflection of the society, you know? So time now is 1, uh, 1.08 a.m. in the morning. Um, uh, I just came back home like, I think, uh, 45 minutes ago-ish. So that means I didn't edit any videos today. I did manage to upload a Minecraft video, so there's that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start crowdfunding tomorrow then, I guess. Actually, I wanna re-edit my promo video, cause I actually, um, oh shit, what happened there? Uh, I actually, um, edited this really, really cool, uh, promo video for my short film. It's not like a trailer, but more like, um, just a bunch of ideas, bunch of shots thrown together. And these shots aren't necessarily shots in the script. Um, they're just shots that I think of and then I just film them immediately on the spot and uh, I just pile them up and, and they're kind of related to my story but not exactly in my story. So anyways I piled them up together and I made this little promo video and I thought it's really really cool. Um, and uh, I'm gonna edit another one because I because the original one is really short and um, uh, n not that the song I used is a daughter song, and this may the song may freak people out, especially Natalie. When I sent it to Natalie, Natalie's like, "Oh, it's so weird, noisy. Like, what's this moaning? What's going on?" Um, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, I was really bored in my mom's friend's place. Ate a lot of food, of course, of course. My mom's friend is super rich. Lives in a house with multiple floors lives in the suburbs of Hong Kong, okay, so, yeah, that means, you know, that means uh, my mom's friends are really, really rich, uh, lives in a place with multiple floors, huge, huge living room, huge dining place, just huge, everything, everything's so big and spacey and and uh, everybody's going to my mom's friend's daughter, aka my brother's friend's birthday party and everyone's just having fun and I'm just sitting on the couch listening to music on my laptop there's this other dude um and this dude uh, is an alumni in my college and um I and him had a pretty long conversation I asked him a lot about my college and all that stuff and and he answered a lot of questions, it was pretty nice, and then I had cake, a birthday cake, um, and then I just went home, and I'm pretty tired, yeah. Um, 
and also that El Salvadorian girl or woman finally sent me her essay. Yay! So I can do the thing now and then afterwards I'm going to watch a couple episodes of La Casa de Papel and then I'm going to go to sleep. And tomorrow I'm going to do crowdfunding. I'm going to do a Mushe Pool review and I'm going to edit the thoughts update and release it. And um, yeah. Yeah. That's all. I and Natalie and Cedric also spoke a little bit today in WhatsApp. Uh, nothing too crazy. Natalie complained about because she lives in a really, really cheap apartment um, for some reason, and the lock and the bathroom door is broken, and she can't really lock her bathroom door, so she tried to tell her parents to not go to the bathroom when she's in the bathroom but her parents are for some reason not okay with that um, and um, Cedric's like yeah cuz also another thing would be um, it's actually the second wave of corona in the UK right now they're actually the second wave is beginning in UK and we are almost done with the third wave our first wave started in January, which is a really, really small. And then a bigger one will be in March. And then in July to August is the third wave, which is the biggest one so far. And um, the third wave is pretty much over right now. Uh, about to be over. Uh, and UK is beginning its second wave. So, oopsies. And America, uh, USA hasn't even ended in their first wave or actually, if you, if you look at the uh, number of cases, they're actually still in the second wave, sorta, sorta. But technically, it's only the first wave because there there were actually no uh, intermissions between the first wave and the second wave. But you can clearly see like like this, and then this. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah. That's all for today. I am tired and I I will do some homework now. Time now is 2.30 on September 20th. Um, so, uh, yeah, just like a couple days ago, just like three days ago, just like four days ago. Uh, I don't know, just like many of the days in the past. I'm going to not do anything all that important today. I'm going to do some college homework, English 1 final draft of my first essay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that real nice and clean, okay? I'm going to do that. Um, and um, what else am I going to do? I'm going to edit my n a new promo video. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough piece to edit, but I'm going to do it. Meanwhile, I'm going to review a moonshade pool. And the thoughts update video, I'm going to watch anime tonight. And before that, I'm going to watch an episode of Money Heist because yesterday I didn't finish uh, season three. Um, that's all I'm going to do today. There are 23 new cases in Hong Kong today. Are you fucking kidding me? We're going to fourth wave. But uh, hear this. In 23 new cases, 19 of them are cases from outside, meaning that they are people who just returned to Hong Kong and are quarantined. So which means 23 minus 19, that's a 4. Only 4 locals got the virus. Only 4. But still, that's a lot in comparison to the 3 a, a few days ago. So uh, it's still very, very concerning. If the 4th wave happens, I really have to cancel everything. It, it's going to be a disaster. Um, anyways, I had a really bad nightmare where I get, where I go to a church, right? Um, a Christian church. And it's not like an old school Catholic church or something that, like, I'm talking about like a facility, like a church. And in one of the rooms, I was with some other teens and adolescents and there was an adult, a very kind woman. And because I was new there... The woman had to give me a test, a ritual of sorts, which is really weird, where there's a big plate and then there are three smaller plates 
one plate carries water, one plate carries sugary substances, and the other plate carries tears. And I thought I have to taste test them. And then uh, the woman used a large wooden spoon. And the woman asked me what's the name of the spoon, and I answered it correctly. And so the woman treated me like an elite student. And then everyone else started to hate on me. Every time I say something slightly strange, everyone's going to bully me. Uh, try to yell at me harshly. Try to educate me harshly. At one point, I just couldn't stand it and I tried to leave. And, um, and then I saw this boy. And I knew the boy and the boy knew me. And I hold his hand and we ran through a crowd of people and that's the only happy moment in the dream and then i returned to the classroom and the classroom felt slightly different i tried to pack my bags but i was super tired and fatigued and there were still some other people in the room and they were they were really angry and upset at me for being this slow and this tired and then i just couldn't take it anymore and then i just yelled at them like why you guys bully me you guys constantly hate on me and yell at me and now you're you're upset simply because I'm not fast enough. This is bullshit. So um yeah, it's a very very painful dream, just agony. Um but um good thing it's a dream. Um Well, uh yeah, that's all I'm going to do today. Yeah, I can't do anything else, man. The world right now, it's just... I, I, I really don't know, man. I, re I really don't know. Um, I've been thinking about Mary a lot lately again because of the dream I had a couple days ago. I think uh, two, the day before yesterday. More like yesterday morning. Where you know, I just saw Mary. And that's, that's just like, oh yeah, Mary. I still like her and um, I don't know I feel like Mary just doesn't care about me at all I already know that like a long time ago that Mary doesn't even care about me I just want to tell her that I just want to tell her that I like her that's all I need to do but uh yeah if this fourth wave happens, the graduation dinner will not happen. Even if the fourth wave is already over when we have the graduation dinner. But if this fourth wave doesn't begin and it's all zeros for the next month or so, then the graduation dinner will definitely happen. And that would be great. But uh, I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. This whole coronavirus thing, it's, it's already been a thing for nine and a half months. So maybe it's gonna time now is 11:52 p.m. on September 20th. Um, I don't know why, but my hair is absolute trash. It's just so is asymmetrical, and it's like I'm being slammed in the head. It's it's terrible. Anyways, a few interesting things had happened, and it all started with Leo sending me a voice message all of a sudden out of the blue asking me if I can ask my English teacher, my old English teacher, a former English teacher in my secondary school, what are my results in the DSC, what are my exact scores because because um, my former English teacher bought the bought back my exams from the exam organization uh, which is a part of the government and uh, so people like Natalie and Leo who already bought back their stuff uh, saw some more details instead of just the grade they saw the exact scores that uh, the people gave uh, the um, markers gave them um, so I downloaded Facebook Messenger because I had to the only way I can contact my former English teacher is through Facebook. So I downloaded Facebook Messenger and then I realized there are a bunch of Facebook things that I've not checked. So of course I talked with uh, my former English teacher. She's really nice. 
uh, and she said that uh, she still hadn't received any results from the DSEs yet, unfortunately. Uh, but also, I found this strange thing. Uh, uh, Diane, on May 1st, 2020, okay, it's not too long ago, Diane suddenly sent me a link and asked, is this you? And asked my name, like, my name, is this you? Which is really weird. Like, it would make sense if she would send me something in 2016 because she and I are in the same class in Form 2. But it's already Form 6 during the DSEs, May 1st, which is crazy. And I'm like, hmm, should I continue forward? And this link is really weird. It, it's, um, I clicked on it and it says it broke the community guideline rules for Facebook. And I saw the link and it says Jow Web, so I went to Google and searched, and apparently Jow Web is this company, um, or Yo Web, I don't know, it's this company in Netherlands, which is responsible for designing websites. It's really weird. So I'm like, okay, should I ask her or not? So um, I'm like, you know what, screw it. So I asked question mark, and then she said, oh, nothing, I, I got hacked. <laughs> and I'm like, dot, dot, dot okay so uh that's all and i also went uh ha had a bit of a chit chat with natalie and cedric as well and i continued to talk about like i told them about like diane strange ouch diane strange message ah my toe fuck so i accidentally scratched my myself with um with my toenail ouch okay anyways um, what was I gonna say? Right, so I, um, I told, uh, Natalie and Cedric about this weird Diane message thing. Um, anyways, also, fun fact, Diane is kind of friends with, um, well, I'm sure she's friends with, like, certain people of importance anyways. Like, I think Wendy, or, and Wendy somehow friends with Mary still, or not close friends, but they still talk, you know? Um, so there's that. Um, and then we began talking about how did people even find out my YouTube channel. Apparently 10 people already know about my YouTube channel. By 10, I mean 10 people around me, excluding my elder cousin, already know about my YouTube channel. 10 classmates, which is a huge deal because I talk about school a lot on my channel. And if they find out, they, they're going to be like, wow, you, you, you motherfucker. So um, I... I said, well, apparent, according to Grant, I told Grant about my YouTube channel, but I don't think I actually did. And then Natalie's like, well, actually, I think you, you kind of did. You were just ranting and rambling. And I was like, oh, like I was joking, like, oh, well, I guess I was in my other personality. Maybe for the entirety of my school life, I had two, I, I had split personalities. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it was really weird. And then I just spent half an hour editing my new promotional video for my short film for my crowdfunding. And I thought it's great. It's banger. It's really well edited. I love the song and I, I think it's great. Uh, but also right now it's already almost midnight. I'm going to quickly finish my final essay draft. Probably will take me around 20 minutes and then afterwards I'll watch some anime and then I'll head to bed. Uh, so, um, that is my plano. Yano! Yeah,